Hello, and welcome to Popcorn News. Something to watch while you eat popcorn. In the news lately have been reports of the highly likely discovery of a new planet. Scientists over at Caltech um, have come across something that is beyond the outer limits of little Pluto that they believe, they believe to be evidence of a very, very, very large planet. And by that, it's something like five to ten times the size of Earth. Now, they are using data about uh, how other objects as far out as Pluto uh, are, are reacting and moving out of alignment, getting out of its way. So data like that actually suggests a heavy gravitational pull, which primarily comes from things that are, are qualified to be called planets. Now, that's the best that they can say is that something really, really, really big beyond Pluto exists because space rocks are moving out of the way, um, as well as it's causing misaligned positions uh, among the outer planets. The orbit of other celestial bodies seem to be responding to something. What that is, nobody can actually confirm just yet, but the critics of this study say that it's possible that this, uh, this large body is simply an ancient core, an, core of a gas giant that was ejected out to the farthest reaches of the solar system thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. And it probably doesn't even get to reach the closest approach of the sun, but maybe once every 10,000 or so. Manila Chan in the video says the mysterious planet probably only reaches its closest approach to the sun maybe every 10,000 or so years. Or you could try maybe every 3,600 or so years, which is the time frame theorized in a curious book by Zechariah Sitchin, the twelfth planet. Manila Chan, in her report for RT America, is not the only one talking about the mysterious planet. On January 20th, 2016, Jeffrey Kluger of Time Magazine reported online that Caltech astronomer Michael Brown and Caltech planetary scientist Konstantin Batygin are calling it Planet Nine. Other similar reports can be found online. Besides Planet Nine and Zechariah Sitchin's The Twelfth Planet, it has also been called Nibiru and Planet X. What a coincidence, then, that the apparent return of Planet X coincides with the return of X-Files, an updated reboot of which is scheduled to premiere on Fox TV this Sunday, January 24th. Are you ready for this? I don't know. We have a small problem. They've reopened the X-Files. 
we have a slight problem. They've reopened the X-Files, says the cigarette smoking man. And at this same time, there appears to be the return of Planet X after its 3,600-year wandering. Coincidence? Perhaps not. In Zechariah Sitchin's theory, the planet 9 Nibiru is inhabited by the Anunnaki, a group of deities in ancient Mesopotamian cultures. And isn't it interesting that in a new interview by Alex Jones of Infowars.com, which was broadcast on January 20th, the Reverend Louis Farrakhan discusses an awaited Messiah, the Mahdi. The Mahdi is the prophesied redeemer of Islam, who will assist Jesus in battling the Antichrist. What might the friendly meeting between Alex Jones, a Christian, and Louis Farrakhan, a Muslim, portend, or at least symbolize. Thank you for watching Popcorn News.